Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and in today's video I want to show you a cool new plugin for Lightroom. So one of the things that I hate doing and one of the things that I'm terrible at is keywording my photos. And if you have a big library or if you supply to say a stock photo agency, it's pretty important that you keyword your images. Now, if you use something like Apple Photos or even the cloud version of Lightroom, you can actually search for objects in a photo and it uses its machine learning uh, to enable you to do that. So I've often wondered with the advancements in AI and machine learning, why is it not possible to automatically add keywords? Well, now you can, thanks to a handy new plugin called WordRoom. So it's pretty straightforward. Once you install the plugin, you can run it on any image or group of images in your library, and it'll bring up a dialog and give you suggested keywords for the photo. So let's take a look at it in action. So now I've already installed the, um, the plugin, so I have some images here, and I'm just gonna try them on different images and see what kind of results it gets. So here is a photo of graffiti, and we've got a doorway and a few other things. So this is probably a bit of a challenge for AI, but let's see what we get. So to call the, the plugin, you go to the library menu in the library module and go down to plugin extras. And then at the very bottom, you will see auto keyword. So once we do this, this will bring up our dialog box and you can see it brings up all our keywords. Now, this is actually not that bad. Um, and it's kind of, you can say to yourself, how's that doing that? So uh, it's definitely come a long way. Now, some of these aren't really relevant. Like I can't see a telephone in the image unless I'm missing something. Let me just have a quick look here. I don't know where it's picking up the telephone from, um, but you can see things it's picked up graphic design. Uh, it's picked up art. It's picked up graffiti. Um, and have we, does it picked up the doorway? It's picked up the light and it's picked up the sign and vending machine. Mm, I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to turn that one off and machine. I suppose it's getting from this cause it's kind of a, a machine type thing. Um, a slot machine. I don't know where it's got that from. I suppose it does look kind of like a slot machine. Um, so obviously it's not going to be perfect and nothing is at the moment. And as I said, this is probably a bit of an edge case. So I kind of picked the worst one to start off with. Um, but yeah, so once you've kind of turned off the ones that aren't relevant, like container, I don't know where I got that from. Um, you just go add to keyword tags. And if you look, you'll see down in back in Lightroom, it has added our keyword tags. Okay, so close that. Um, so let me just have a look at some different images. So the next one here we have, this is like a street photography scene. Um, and we do the same again. Auto keyword, let's see what this comes up with. Okay, so again, <laughs> some of this is a bit dodgy. Why? That's kind of a bit cheeky. <laughs> um, crutch, don't know. Uh, stick. Not sure where it's getting that from. It's probably picking it up off this. Um, so it's not perfect, but it's not bad. Uh, and a lot of this is kind of, it's geared towards, um, it's geared towards stock photography. So some of this is kind of a bit abstract, like equipment, no. Uh, again, I'm not even going to go there. Staff, I suppose it could be. <laughs> so yeah, so again, we just hit add to keyword tags and Actually, it's just like, I mean, it's picked up on standing, so that's kind of impressive. Uh, I know I'm going to get comments now. Oh, it's not that impressive. Um, I think it's impressive. <laughs> okay, so now we can actually do groups as well. So let me just pick a few here. Um, so we're going to pick this one, and we have two skyscrapers images. So let's just go with these. So again, library, plugin extras, auto keyword. Okay, so again, we've got skyscraper, tall sky, bank. Again, that's a bit presumptuous. Mind you, it probably is one of them is probably a bank. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty bang on. Architecture, tower, corpus, downtown, building, perspective, steel, center. Yeah, they're all things that you would probably associate with that image. Um, so again, we go add keyword tags. And then over here, we can go next image. And again, we've got kind of the same thing. Now, one thing this is definitely not going to do is it's not going to pick at locations or things like that. So like, it's not going to know that, for example, this is New York. Uh, I'd be really impressed if it did. Um, 
didn't pick up on the American flag. Kind of surprised about that. It was fairly small in the image. But anyway, again, it still saves you a lot of time. So, um, okay. So let's just do one more. Um, again, library, plugin extras, auto keyword. Okay, so again, we've got tree, river, sky, canal. It knows, it somehow knows that that's a canal. It, well, it's probably just picking different waterway, um, words associated with waterways. So it's probably not, it's not that smart that it knows it's a canal, but still, it's got quite a few good things here. So boathouse, no, uh, there's no boathouse. Outdoors, yeah, architecture, not really. Um, buildings, there's no real buildings there. Shed, no. Vascular plant, I don't know what that is. Outbuildings, no. Okay, and then add the keyword text. So if you, there's a down on the bottom here, you'll see this agree to submit image data for improving the technology. So you can turn this off if you want, um, but basically they will use, when you do all this, uh, it will use that to help the machine learning. So the more people that use it, the better it's gonna get and the smarter it's gonna get. But even as it is, I mean, as I said, it's not getting everything perfectly, but, um, it's it's pretty good. Uh, it's better than I was expecting, and because um, if you use the 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 machine learning searching in Apple Photos, for example, or in the cloud version of Lightroom, it will maybe pick up on two or three things that you can search for in an image. Um, sometimes more than that, depending on the image. But it's certainly not as good as this. It certainly wouldn't pick up things like lake reflection, uh, canal. Um, so yeah, so it's pretty, pretty good. And uh, let me just try one more. Um, let's close this. So we pick something a little more obscure. So here's like, uh, this is a picture of Trinity College in Dublin. Uh, it's not a great picture, but I'm just using this as an example to see if we can trick it up. So library, plugin extras, auto keyword. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're not in England. <laughs> um, tourist, yeah, it's a tourist. Historic, yep, yeah, fair enough. Landmark, square, building. Certainly hasn't picked up that it's a university anyway. Um, residence, no. Uh, sky, old, square, yeah, that's all fame. Fine, sculpture, fine. Triumphal arch. Not really, but we'll leave it there. Uh, memorial? I don't know, actually. I um, don't know if there is a memorial there. But I'm guessing it's picking all that up from the architecture. Um, so anyway, it's, like I said, uh, that is it in action. Um, you can try it out for free on up to 100 images. Um, as you can see, I'm down to 89 here. And if you sign up to a free account, you can use up to 2,000 images a month. Now, you can pay for more than that. So I guess if you're doing this for a living, that's probably not a problem. But for semi-professional and enthusiasts, it might be a lot to ask, given that you probably already have a bunch of subscriptions. Still, it is impressive technology, and I expect, I expect we'll see more of this soon. And in an ideal world, this would be built right into Lightroom. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool, and it's something that I've wanted for a long time. And I expect anyone who has to properly keyword their images will find this a massive time saver too. So you can check it out at wordroom.org and I will put a link in the description below. And I hope you found this interesting. If you have, please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to check out my Patreon page. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. See you next time.